It's time now for a look latest in local sports and sports high school basketball teams in action this past Tuesday. Over in Long County, the Blue Tide wins the boys' game 64-49. Lady Jackets win the varsity girls' game by a final of 32-23. Varsity girls' team in action tomorrow at Frederick Academy. Girls' game only at 6.30. Then on Thursday, November 30th, the varsity teams return home to the Benny Ratliff Arena. They'll host Pierce County. Girls' game at 5 and the varsity boys' game at 6.30 p.m. High school football season down to the final four in each classification. In quality, the matchups are Benedictine at Stockbridge. Stars Mill will take on Perry. Benedictine two wins away from the third straight championship in AA. Or in quality football. In AA, Pierce County defeated Fellowship Christian 49-17. They'll be at home this coming Friday night. Taking on Fitzgerald in one semifinal game. The other side of the bracket in AA is Cook against Rockmark. In Triple A, Cedar Grove against Calvary Day, and Savannah Christian against Carver Columbus. In 5A football, it's Coffee against Cartersville, Creekside against Jefferson. In 6A football, it's Marist and Thomas County Central, Woodward Academy against Douglas County. And in 7A football, it's Camden County in the Final Four. They'll play at Walton while Grayson plays Milton. In single A football, Manchester plays Telfair, and Schley plays Bowden. College football over the weekend. It was a rivalry week. Georgia defeated Georgia Tech. In Atlanta, 31-23. Georgia Southern lost to App State, 55-27. FSU beat Florida, 24-15. Michigan over Ohio State, 30-24. LSU beat Texas A&M, 42-30. Alabama on 4th and 31. Connecton beats Auburn, 27-24. Kentucky beat Louisville, 38-31. Ole Miss beat Mississippi State, 17-7. NC State over North Carolina, 39-20. So championship weekend is set. And then the selection of the four teams into the college football playoff. And this will be last year. 14 playoffs will take place next year. The NCAA expanding to 12 teams in the playoff. Championship weekend will get underway Friday night as Oregon and Washington will meet for the second time this season. They'll play in the Pac-12 title game. Washington remains unbeaten. On Saturday, it's Oklahoma State against Texas in the Big 12 title game. It kicks off at 12 noon on Saturday. Georgia-Alabama, the SEC championship game in Atlanta. That game kicks off at 4 p.m. The Big 10 title game, Michigan and Iowa at 8 p.m. And the ACC title game, on Saturday night, FSU still unbeaten. They'll take on Louisville in that game, 8.30 on Saturday evening. And after the championship weekend, the NCAA selection committee will unveil their top four teams into the playoffs. The debates will begin. $64,000 another question is, will Georgia get in if they lose this Saturday to Alabama? Alabama hoping to get in with an upset win. If Michigan, Washington, and FSU all remain unbeaten, they'll all be in. And Georgia, a possible fourth undefeated team. Then you'd have your four undefeated teams in the playoff. Teams like Oregon, Texas, Alabama all need wins and need help to make the playoff and get into that Final Four scenario. NFL football Sunday, Falcons moved into first place in the division with a 24-15 win over New Orleans. Jaguars remain in first place in their division. They've got a two-game lead now. They defeated Texans 24-21. Other games, Indianapolis over Tampa Bay 27-20. Giants beat the Patriots 10-7. Pittsburgh over Cincinnati 16-10. Titans beat the Panthers 17-10. Rams over the Cardinals 37-14. Denver down to Cleveland 29-12. Eagles in overtime beat Buffalo 37-34. Kansas City over the Raiders 31-17. Ravens last night beat the Chargers 20-10. And tonight, Monday Night Football with Chicago and the Minnesota Vikings. Three Wayne County All-Star soccer teams headed to state this week. Again, they'll be in action this Friday and Saturday. And again, they're all headed to state. The U-12 girls, the U-12 boys, and the 17 U co-ed teams, all district champions, all head to state this weekend. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.